If Brahmo's exports fructify sale could double in five years, Brahmo's chief. New Delhi, domestic orders placed for the Brahmo's missiles have been worth more than 7 billion US dollars over the last 20 years, and if exports fructify the sales could double in the next five years, the Brahmo's chief said today. Brahmo's Aerospace, an Indo-Russian joint venture formed in 1998, manufactures the supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarines, ships, aircraft, or land. While India could use the BrahMos missiles for its three services, Army, Navy, and the Air Force, it could not export them before June 2016, when it became a signatory to the Missile Technology Control Regime MTCR. The MTCR membership enabled India to trade in high-end missile technology and also enhance its joint ventures with Russia. The journey of, nearly, 20 years has not been easy. We have struggled with our finances, technology, and users. Challenges have been so many, Brahmo's Aerospace's CEO Sudhir Kumar Mishra said speaking at the DevTech 2017, an event organized by the Confederation of Indian Industry and the Defense Ministry. The company started making profit only in its 14th year, he said. Over a period of time, the missiles have been developed to become more effective for all the three services, he said. The journey has been meaningful because we invested 300 million US dollars and today we have orders worth more than 7 US dollars billion, Mishra said. After India joined the MTCR, many countries, especially Vietnam, expressed interest in buying the BrahMos missiles. If exports fructify, then this, the order for BrahMos missiles, can almost double in another five years, he said. Later, when asked about exports of the missiles, he declined to comment, saying he was not authorized to talk to the media and the defense ministry would be in a position to comment on it. In August, there were reports of India supplying BrahMos anti-ship cruise missiles to Vietnam. However, the information was dubbed incorrect by the Ministry of External Affairs. Speaking at the inaugural session of the program, G. Suthish Reddy, the scientific advisor to the Defense Minister, said a strong research and development base is necessary for making the country self-reliant in defense technology.